Hi folks, thanks for stopping by and welcome to my shop. My name's Fred. The subject of today's video is internal broaching using a shaper. Now as most of you know that watch these channels, uh, shaper was a predecessor of the modern horizontal and vertical mill. It's, it's one of those machines that are a joy to watch and listen to. Uh, another benefit of these machines is they're relatively easy to run, very versatile, and you can make most of your own tooling. It does not re require uh, special bits. You can grind uh, and, and fabricate a lot of your own tooling from high-speed steel or, or carbide if you're so pleased. Um, one of the jobs that it can do that other machines can't do is internal broach. I had a recent job where I had to uh, cut a keyway uh, in, a, in a multiple shiv pulley. It had four shivs on it. It was a two and a half inch long uh, keyway that, that had to be three sixteenths of an inch wide. And although I finished the project, what I want to do now is, is just I set up a piece of scrap in here with a 5 8 inch hole and we're going we're gonna to bore it. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have here. Um, this is an Atlas uh, 7B. The 7 uh, designates the fact that it's got a, a 7 inch stroke maximum. Um, this is the clapper box as most of you know and for this operation I disabled the clapper box now uh, a fella or someone that had it, this machine before me uh, bored a hole and, and tapped it for three-eighths three-eighths inch bolt let's say and when he wanted to disable the clapper box all he did is he screwed that bolt in and that holds that the clapper sec uh, securely against uh, the, tool, the tool rest. The uh, setup I'm using here today is I, I, I turned up a quick collet uh, that fits in the groove behind the the clapper and I used a 3 8 inch tool steel bored a 3 16 inch hole down perpendicular to the shaft and in the center uh, and a set screw in the front bored, bored and threaded a, a set screw I think it's number six and then I used a, 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 a 3 16 high-speed steel end mill blank and I ground I ground the tip on it so it's exactly 3 16 in diameter. Uh, I set up the stroke so it uh, it just clears the front here and what I want to do is is uh, set up a little closer to the, uh, the focus of the job here and uh, we'll start making some cuts. I'll be back in a second. Okay, gotcha. Looking at the center of the action here. I neglected to say, tell you that uh, this is my setup for for boring or, or for uh, broaching. It's an angle plate, an old angle plate that I bored a hole in, and uh, the angle plate is strapped down to the uh, the ways of the table, the table here, and then the pulley is mounted flush up against the back of the angle plate and then there are four C-type clamps that are holding it flush to the uh, to the, the face of the angle plate. The, the the X and the Z of this are set have been already set up and um, I did a scratch pass here and you can see that that the keyway is in the middle of the bottom equidistant from each side and uh, it's just started to cut so what we're going to do is turn it on and uh, we'll take some cuts here and I'll show you what it looks like the machine's on I will I'll engage the feed and there it is a little. I use WD-40 for my lubricant. Now the way you, the way you uh, put 
put more depth in the cut is with the down feed of the tool. So we're going to put a couple thousandths in and you'll see it start to make chips. And you can see how painless this is. It, it really makes a job that is pretty hard to do if you don't have a machine like this. Easy. Does not require any special broaching tools. You can make your keyway as wide or as narrow as you want. You don't need expensive broaching sets with all different size brooches in it. Then you go slow. This is a slow, this stroke, uh, the stroke of this is as slow as the shaper will go. Not in a big hurry. See what a nice finish it's leaving in there. Everything's been locked down, the table's been locked down, um, so it can't move. Real rigid setup. Keep progressing here. painless operation. I typically leave leave the shaper set up to do keyways because there are so a mill, a horizontal mill and a vertical mill can do most of the operations that this can do and it can do it faster. So this is pretty much dedicated to making keyways. Okay, I don't want to bore you to death, but I wanted to show you that it, it is pretty straightforward. If you go slow, you get a perfect keyway every time. So that's it for today. Hope you found this uh, useful. If you like this sort of thing, this sort of content, check out my other machining videos. If you have questions or ideas for other videos, leave me a comment below. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.